Hello everyone. In my previous videos, I have shown you how to get started with Azure OpenAI and how to deploy a model. So in this video, we will see how we can consume the model which we have already deployed in Azure. So for that, the very first thing we need to do is we need to go back to our Azure portal and open the resource which we just deployed. So I'm not going through this part again because we have seen how we can deploy it. But if you are not sure how to deploy it, I would recommend you to watch out my previous video in which I have clearly explained all these elements. Okay, so this is the instance which we have deployed. So let's click on explore so it will open up the Azure Open Studio, AI Studio. Just give it a few more seconds. So this is our studio and on the left hand side you can see the chat and the completions. So this is the portion which we will try it shortly. We are going to try now and if you will go to deployment. So this is the one which we deployed last time and today we are going to consume the same model uh, using Python. Okay, let me go ahead and quickly type in something. So, write a Python function to add two numbers. Okay, and here we need to select some examples. So, let me go ahead and choose this one. I have to write it again. write a python function to add two numbers let me quickly execute this and you can see that it is giving this function successfully so how we can achieve the same result or similar kind of result using python so let me switch on to my vs code and the two things which i have imported is OpenAI as well as OS. Let's go ahead and initialize a few important variables. The very first one is the deployment name. So here we need to provide the deployment name. Then we need the kind of API. So for that, we need to say OpenAI dot API type. So this will always always be Azure in case of Azure OpenAI. Then we need to provide our API key which I am going to read it from my environment so get env and let me quickly type in the name here the next thing we need is we need to provide the base url or endpoint which we are going to hit so that we can do it using api base and here we will be providing that url and the last version is the API version. So this API version, OpenAI dot API version. So this version, you can look into the documentation and you can figure it out. But the current one, which I'm typing is 2022-12-01. So this is the latest one. Okay, so first of all, we need to grab the deployment name. So deployment name would be this one so here we can provide deployment name then we need the api base which is nothing but our endpoint so let's go back to this portal and this is the endpoint so we need to place that endpoint here And in case of key, if you are not aware, I can show you from where I have picked it. So go to keys and endpoints. And this is the one, any of these you can pick. So this is the key you need to use. Okay, so once this is done, let me quickly execute this cell. The only thing remaining is to make a call to the completion endpoint. Now that you can do it using uh, web API or you can also do it using SDK. So let's go ahead and do it using SDK because that is the one which is 
very popular way okay so for that first of all we will define the prompt and prompt we can grab the same one which we have written over there so let's go to this go to completions and grab this one so this would be my prompt next thing is we need to phrase how we are going to make a call so for that we will say result equal openai dot completion dot create so you must have seen this api earlier when we were doing with openai so it is almost the same thing and then those few parameters if you want to define you can define it temperature let's go with zero then max tokens i will go with bare minimum let's go with just 30 okay and then we need to define the engine so engine is nothing but our deployment name deployment name okay so this part is done and the only thing which is remaining is we need to print the result so for that we can say result dot choices of zero so if you're not sure why i'm writing choices dot text and all these so this is how the response format is okay let's run it and you can see that the response is exactly the same which we have received over there so this is how we can make a call to the models which we have already deployed in Azure OpenAI. So in next video, I will show you more advanced scenario. But before going ahead, you should know this particular basic things like how to grab deployment name, how to grab the key, which one, with, uh, which one is your endpoint, what is your API version. So once these things are clear, you are good to go with our next crit, like complex scenarios. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and thanks for watching.